The new movie, South of Heaven, starring Jason Sudeikis and Evangeline Lilly, goes a little something like this. A man receives early parole so he can give his sick fiance a magical final year of life. However, things take a dark turn. Take a look. My one true love, Annie. Doctors gave her a year. I'm gonna beg you to let me out so that I can give Annie the best year of her life. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. I know. Brains, is it? Right. Jerry Ray. 15 years for picking their own kind of friends. More or less, yeah. Why don't we make that more or less, sir? Yes, sir. And Evangeline is here with me now. Hello, darling. Hello. I want you to set this up for everybody because I feel like films like this, they, they really don't get made that often anymore. And I want them to. So how would you describe this film? Ah, uh, this film is a romance set in a very violent world painted with a very delicate brush. So if you are, you know, in a relationship with somebody who loves action movies and you're more of like, you know, the heartfelt sweet films or romances or slice of life movies, it kind of meets in the middle. It's full of so many twists and turns. There's no way anyone, nobody is going to predict all the twists in this movie. Nobody's going to sit in the theater or at home and be like, I know what's going to happen and call it. It's such a beautiful love story. And it feels funny to say that from having seen it because yes, there, there, there's a, there is action. There is some violence, but like, I think at its core, it's just a beautiful love story between these two humans. It really is. It was actually, um, so Aaron Cachelli is the director. He directed a film called Big Bad Wolves that made a huge splash Quentin Tarantino said it was his favorite film of that year. It was a big deal. And then this is the next film he made. And what happened in between making that film and making this film was Aaron fell in love and he got married. And this is his love song to his wife. <laughs> what do you love about Annie? What do you miss about playing her? Um, oh, that's a great question. Well, what I love about her is that I got to take the shackles off and I got to stop being a tough kick chick and I just got to be someone who actually is a lot like myself I had this character who on the page was very vulnerable and she was very weak and she was um, very soft and very gentle but I knew that if based on everything she'd been through she was a formidably strong human being and I really wanted to show that but I didn't want to show that by her being like I'm so strong, I can handle everything. I wanted her to maintain that beautifully soft exterior and to show what strength looks like when it comes through a soft vessel. I know you have to go, so just real quick, I wanna hear about other things that you're working on, whether it's your books, I don't know what's going on with Ant-Man and the Wasp, what, what, else, what else do you have going on? I'm in the middle of printing the third installment of the Squeaker Walkers book series, which are my children's books. And I'm in the middle of drafting the cover art for the fifth audio book in the Squeaker Walkers. So that should be coming out soon, knock wood. And then I'm here in London right now working on Quantum Mania, which is the next Ant-Man and the Wasp installment, which is very fun, very exciting. And then after that, I, oh, and I also have a podcast series, mini series coming out soon. Um, I I think it'll be in probably around Christmas time, um, which is which is really different for me. It's a departure from what people are used to. I'm talking about spirituality, um, which is something that's super important to me. is sort of the, the cornerstone of my life, and uh, I decided to for the first time ever just to talk about it publicly. I, I love all of it. So we can listen to you, we could read your books, and we could watch you in South of Heaven in theaters and on demand. Right. Yeah. Uh, you, you've been an absolute joy. Thank you so much. 